You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell. Sponsored by Absolute Mortgage, a division of Pinnacle Capital Mortgage Corporation. Now, in the studio, local mortgage and finance expert, Tina Mitchell. Well, welcome back to The Money Hour with your host and mortgage expert, Tina Mitchell, right here at 1150 AM KKNW, the Saturday, April 2nd show. I'm here to empower our community, providing you with opportunities and solutions when it comes to your money. If you're hearing my show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast. You can talk with the guests that I have in studio or uh, suggestions for future shows. Just call the show at one 855 400 or online at themoneyhour.com. And in studio right now, Jeff Dickinson with Remax on the lake, forming your home buying team and why that's so important. Jeff, thank you so much for coming back in studio. Always glad to be here, Tina. And a little bit about uh, Jeff. He has, um, over the years, Jeff has been involved in the development of apartment, office buildings, residential condominiums, and self-storage facilities. His real estate practice includes extensive buyer and seller representation of residential properties through the Puget Sound region. Jeff has also found Founder and director of Remax Home Advantage Program, one of the most successful real estate teams. The primary focus is corporate employee representation with over 90 corporate clients, including Boeing, UW, King County, City of Seattle, Harborview Medical Center. And it, you have to be the best of the best to get into corporations like this. And uh, Jeff, I, knew, I know your unique spin is, re, spin is really putting together a community of experts, just like I do here with the show, but out there in the field and helping homeowners so that they're set up and ready to go for the biggest purchase they're going to make in their life. So uh, very excited to share this information with my listeners. So whether, again, you're a first-time home buyer buying a second home or you feel that you're experienced, forming that team of experts that are going to help you be successful at the highest level that you can is our conversation today. So, Jeff, why is that so important? Well, you know, I uh, represent about 40, 50, 60 buyer uh, buyers each year, and it amazes me uh, how many of them just take for granted the home buying process. It's our largest purchase in our life for the most part. So uh, it's just really important uh, to get some uh, uh, expertise um, uh, on your side. And I, you know, at first time home buyers, I think think probably think more about this because they're first time home buyers. It's the ones that have done it before that and and the reality is is that you're doing it before you've probably done it maybe once or twice and it's been years in between and then all the changes that are happening in the different markets that we're in. So it's it's so important. So what are some of the reasons for building your personal home buying team? Well, I think first is um, um, what I would do is start with a, a real estate agent and just uh, interview maybe two or three of them, uh-huh. uh, get a lay of the land uh, to uh, see what their services are, um, how they deal with you, are they a good fit uh, mm-hmm. for for you, or um, get a, a really strong friend or relative recommendation that's actually gone through the process, um, you know, not, not one of those where, hey, my cousin just uh, got, got their license and I'm going to go with them. Yes. Uh, although that did happen to me yesterday. <laughs> <So> <laughs> it <does not laughs> it's only, you know, only, only human, I guess. So, yeah. so anyways, um, uh, so second of all, um, as I say, just like brain surgery, you know, having to have brain surgery, if you have to have it, you want uh, the best surgeon, yes. the brain surgeon, uh, you know, we're, you know, we're working on you. So really no different uh, when you're buying a, buying a home. So find a really good seasoned agent. Yeah. Also find an agent, especially if you're buying a condo, which I think is a real specialty these days, um, you know, a, a fraught with apparel, um, that you find someone that, an, an agent that specializes in condo, not just doing it on the side, so to speak. Yeah, great so, point. Yeah. And in this market, having the experience, um, and not just the experience of uh, time in the industry, but experience of numbers of transactions you've actually closed. Um, you know, like Jeff says, what if, how many of, of a year? 50, 60? Yeah, yeah, 40 to 60 a year. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, and if you think about that, where the average agent closes, what, eight yeah, or transactions? Three, three or four. But yeah, I that's think. just, it's cr- So you <laughs> yeah. look at the difference there. And right now, with everything that's happening in the market, that, that experience of all the different things that can come up during the process, it's important because that's how you learn. As Deborah talked earlier, about, um, you know, things, if you, uh, failures come up or things that happen, that's where you're learning from it. Well, you've got to go through the experience and have all of that underneath your belt. So Jeff, how important is it to have an agent that 
really is listening to what your personal needs are? You know, I'm going to say probably a dozen times a year, I get um, I get buyer clients that kind of get reassigned, so to speak, that they've already they've had a bad experience with uh-huh. another agent, and usually it's that uh, an agent's showing them something at 500,000 when their uh, budget is 300,000. So they're just yeah. really not listening or, you know, we're looking at uh, um, two-story homes when we really want a Rambler or uh-huh. need a Rambler. So that's a that's a huge thing. I think you, you want your agent to be your personal advocate and, and advisor and to uh, allow you to understand the options available to you to make, a, make smarter choices. So... And that's a great point. And if they're not listening to you, imagine who they're else who else they're not listening to. They're not listening to the agent that represents the seller and what those sellers' needs are. And in this market, if you're not paying attention to what's going on and how to structure that deal, you've lost before you've even had a chance to go in there and try to compete for the property. So Jeff, can you share with my listeners who is part of your home buying team? Well, aside from uh, uh, getting a really good real estate agent, you want to get a really great um, home loan provider too. And um, oftentimes you really want to start with a home loan provider before yeah. even even engaging an agent. So um, some, some of the other team members uh, would be your accountant, uh, maybe tax advisor, mm-hmm. because there are some tax benefits for most of us homeowners uh, that you'd want to take a look at, especially for the first timers that are uh, that haven't had that tax benefit you yes. know they can oftentimes find another 150 to maybe 300 dollars a month yes. um, that could be used towards their mortgage. Mm-hmm. Um, the the other one is the home inspector. They're a, mm-hmm. you know, they're a big uh, um, uh, a team team player. Your agent should be able to um, recommend an inspector or two. Got it. And if you're any orphans out there and you don't have your team in place, that is really, that's what the show, I shouldn't say really, that is what the show's about. The show's about bringing in experts, experts in all areas regarding your financing. And so uh, please feel free to uh, reach into the the show with any assistance there. Now, uh, Jeff, I know you do a lot of not uh, do them yourself because it's on the financing side, but it's amazing how many people miss this opportunity. I know a lot of your buyers take advantage of it is the MCC uh, mortgage credit certificate tax. And when we're talking about taxes, you were talking about the deduction of homeownership, but then you add on top of that another two, three, four hundred dollars for the MCC tax credit. Can you uh, talk to talk about that with my listeners? Yeah, absolutely. It, it amazes me daily where I run into home loan providers. I run into other agents. Mm-hmm. I, I I work about 60% of my practice is working with first time home buyers and I'll sit down with them at Starbucks typically where I spend half my life. Um, <laughs> you look pretty and, good for just hanging yeah. out at Starbucks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'll ask them if they, you know, they're, uh, let's say a moderate home buyer and, you know, we'll just ask them, I'll, I'll ask them if they have uh, heard of the MCC program or their yeah. loan provider did. And they, you know, they look at me stereo eyed and, uh, you know, they're looking at something at 200,000 and boy, the world might open up at 220 or 230,000. Yes. So so it's a really great federal program. And I I agree too. I've talked with, you know, a lot of agents and they're like, what, what's the, what's the MCC? And a lot of lenders don't even know about it. So it is a 20% tax credit on all the interest you pay on your mortgage for the life of the loan, dollar for dollar. It's huge. And you just, after consulting with a licensed CPA, as Jess said, is one of the big parts of, uh, part of the team, is consult with them how to amend your W-4 so you can see that money in your paycheck every month. And like Jeff said, another 20, 30, 40, maybe $50,000 in buying power can make or break you actually getting into a home in this market or getting your kids in the school and having the, you know, being in the neighborhood you want them to be in. So Jeff, who else is part of the home buying team? Well, we talked uh, about having the uh, the home inspector uh, mm-hmm. as part of that. So really, uh, you know, in a nutshell, we've got the agent, we have the loan, home loan provider, uh-huh. we have the home inspector, and, and your accountant. Those are really the, the, the four primary Perfect. And, you know, one more you might add into there, which we're going to talk with next is your financial planner to really get an idea of where your money's at, uh, where where the best pay, place to, to take that money for your down payment, whether it makes sense to actually come in with a down payment or use a zero down option instead, um, really is where your, your financial advisor is going to be able to assist in that arena. Now, what about the cost of having your own home buying team? Well, that's the cool part is mm-hmm. that it doesn't cost you a thing as a home buyer. Everybody likes no is cost. That, is that nice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a rarity. So explain that to my listeners, Jeff. With a, You've got a, a, a real estate expert that's working for you and working really hard. Who pays for that? 
Well, I, I get uh, asked this question constantly, uh, um, uh, where, where we have buyers that ask me, uh, you know, what is, uh, you know, how, how much do I owe you? And so, you know, it's, it's zero. Mm-hmm. So basically, in, in real estate, the seller pays the commission for yep. both the buyer agent repre- uh, representation and the, the sellers. Perfect. And since I'm a mortgage expert, just to let you know, you don't pay for your mortgage expert either. The bank pays for that. So as a buyer, you've got it uh, pretty good. So let's talk about uh, starting that process. So uh, so if any of my listeners are thinking of becoming a homeowner, first time, second time uh, buyer investment property, second home, whatever that may be, when should they be putting together that buying team, Jeff? Well, I say it's never too early to start uh, forming your team. You know, if, totally you're, if you're a year off, uh, you know, two years off, that's that's fine. Um, I'll, you know, a lot of my buyers uh, require some down payment assistance or mm-hmm. savings for down payment or maybe improving their credit history. So those usually take time to, to uh, take care of. So it's always good to uh, start, start a team early. Totally agree. And there are amazing grant programs out there, uh, second mortgages to uh, take care of your down payment to where there's no, uh, no interest. So there's no payment, which is pretty cool. Uh, so Jeff, to wrap up my time here with you, uh, what is one of the biggest challenges that you find with uh, home buyers today? Well, I think the, uh, the biggest challenge that I've been running into lately is um, having buyers just not understanding and not being comfortable enough with the purchase and sale agreement documents. So what I like to do with my clients is, uh, when I first meet with them, is to give them a copy of the typical purchase agreement so they can go home, read them, fall asleep to them. Uh-huh. But um, I had a recent situation uh, a couple weeks ago where I had a, a, a buyer that I'd been working with for quite a while. They had gone over the purchase agreement. But uh, 15 minutes before the offer deadline, they brought me 20 questions, and it just gets to be too late at that time. Yeah, and so especially in this, in, in this market, um, having that preparation. So, Jeff, any uh, final tips that you have for uh, my listeners today? I think the best thing you t- can do is go out and uh, form your home buying team. Wonderful, Jeff. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure um, uh, talking with you. And and again, just a a, a real leader in our local market here. And I highly uh, suggest reaching out to Jeff if you're thinking of uh, buying a home. Have some time and and like Jeff said, interview with your real estate expert and see if it's a good fit for you. And make sure you ask how many buyers that they're working with on an annual basis because that can make or break this process being successful for you. Jeff, thank you again so much for joining me. My pleasure. Thank you, Tina. Coming up next on The Money Hour, are you smart and safe with your financial investments? Well, you'll find out by listening to Brooke Anderson with Kaizen Financial Advisors right here on 1150 AM, KK and W after this short break. <laughs> 